What's up YouTube? It's Sean from Rags to Boss coming at you today with a little bit of a scam warning. Now, I've talked about this token before and I think it is one of the most obvious and evil scams I came across in 2022. We are talking today about Grove Token. Now, I've talked about Grove before. Uh, look, Grove is this token that claims to be a super environmental token, while in actual fact, it is just a complete scam that has absolutely nothing to do with the environment whatsoever. Now, I have talked about them before. Go check out the other videos on my channel if you feel like it afterwards. But today I want to come at you with a warning because I see a lot of you guys on the internet getting really hyped on this token at the moment because they are actually transitioning from a token to a coin. Now, this is usually really good news for any token, right? Because it means that you have to have your own blockchain. And if we go look at the Q1 for 2023 in Grove Token's roadmap, you will see that they are planning to launch a blockchain and a coin. Now, so you'll say, well, okay, great. So the blockchain must be done then, right? Because everybody's getting hyped over this coin launch. But it turns out that there is no blockchain and they are still launching the coin. Well, I don't know. How's that even possible? Because you need a blockchain to be a coin, right? Well, that's correct. For instance, uh, for all of you that don't know how this works, Ethereum is a coin, right? So ETH is the coin on the Ethereum network, right? Bitcoin is a coin, right? BTC is the coin they have their own blockchains, right? So that is the criteria to be called a coin, is you are the native token, well, the coin on that network, right? Just like BNB is a coin, like, you know, these are coins. However, <laughs> you guessed it, Grove token does not have a blockchain, and therefore, how can it be a coin? Well, the old Grove contract was actually on BSC, the Binance Smart Chain, making it a token, like everything on BSC is a token, right? These are the rules. However, the new contract, and I looked it up, as you can see on the screen now, it's still on BSC chain, therefore making it a token. But Grove is going ahead and claiming that they are actually launching a coin. But this is just a straight out complete lie. And I, I don't understand why they would do this, but Grove has a very simple tactic. They hold AMAs, but they only let people speak that they know are just gonna blow smoke up their ass. I know because I've been in their AMAs, smashing the mic request button, and so have many other researchers and people on Twitter that, that have been looking into this, but you never get like um, the, the mic or, or, you know, the right to speak and random people so-called do and they're just like, oh, John, we love you as a CEO. You're, you're just great and it's fantastic. But look, nothing ever gets asked or, you know, negatively said. And, and this is just the way they work. This is a super obvious scam, right? There is no coin. It's a token. You can just look it up. But there's always going to be people that don't understand that, get hyped and buy more Grove token, right? And that is the way that they basically just scam you, right? Because everything about this token is a lie. They, they said that they were going to build a headquarters. They then subsequently put out some plans, like some blueprints on Twitter. And this quickly got debunked as not even being their headquarters, but it's just an apartment building being built somewhere in Dubai, basically. Um, also, there is a lot of money missing from the pre-sale, meaning that they had, like, I believe a $7 million pre-sale round, and of that, like, $3.5 million in tokens didn't get paid for. And um, they found this out, basically, um, 
at Bootsy found this out on Twitter. Um, and basically they just said, oh yeah, it was paid for off chain, meaning that it got paid for in cash, but who knows, this money is basically just, you know, it's probably just the tokens in their hand that they didn't pay for, but they don't want to say that. So they just say, oh, there's some investor who paid us cash, which I mean, look, uh, that might be okay if you're like running a normal business, the IRS will still want to know where that money has come from, but like this is blockchain, so you can't just go selling off tokens for cash, at least that's very weird. Um, they claim the, the Dubai royal family is involved, which has been completely debunked. The documents they're showing are obviously doctored and fake. Uh, there's all these weird things going on and, and people are pushing back on this on Twitter. But the thing is, if you're just a guy who, who basically looks at these positive uh, clips on YouTube saying what you should invest in, and you don't do any deep digging on Twitter or watch my videos about this on YouTube, you're just gonna think like, wow, this is fantastic, they're gonna change the world. And then you go into an AMA, and if you don't critically listen to it, all you're gonna hear is people going like, great, John, you're fantastic, you're the best leader. But actually, these people are, you know, it's all fake. Anyway, guys, I, I just wanted to quickly warn you, I know I've warned you about this token before, but like, like the hits just keep on coming, and you know, there is also some weird thing going on with some coins that they are also acquiring. Um, so I'm going to be covering that in the future if, if, if it turns out to be worth it. And um, I'll be seeing you in the next one. Definitely subscribe here if you want to see more videos on crypto. Also projects that I do like to invest in. And you can see one of those projects that I actually put my own money in over here and I will be seeing you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.